Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition Modded, The Mage's Ascent, episode number 34. So in the last episode, we tracked down two out of the three pieces of Maroon's Razor, and in this episode, we're going to go and get the third piece. Now, off camera, I went to Dragon's Reach, and I spoke to the Enchantress again, and we got a couple of new perks. Now, you'll notice my uh, amount of gold that I've got on me is, like, a lot less now. So I had, like, 20k. The amount of gold I have now is, like... Yeah, like 2k, because these perks are really expensive. But I, I got three perks. The first one increases the magnitude of my fury spells. The second one um, allows fury spells to last indefinitely, so they never run out. And the third one um, also makes my... Uh, while, while I'm wearing a circlet, you notice my guy now has a circlet on. While I'm wearing a circlet, all spells cost... Um, or all uh, illusion spells, sorry, cost 35% less to cast. So let's go talk to this guy. Need a ride? And we're going to hire the carriage to go Where to, to go? Uh, Valkyrie. Let's go there. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Alrighty, let's go. Sun feels good, huh? Indeed, it does. Right, let's get in the carriage here, and let's go ahead and make our way back to yeah, Valkyrie. So we haven't been here yet. Oh, he's uh, he's singing Ragnar the Red as well. So let's go back to Valkyrie, and let's get off here. Here we go. Right, so we want to go this way. And we want to head into the place. Now, uh, I have done a previous run of this. My game actually crashed around here. So hopefully it's not going to do that again. But we're going to find out. If it does, then I'm going to probably have to uh, work around it and, like, find what the hell is causing it. But hopefully nothing hopefully nothing bad. So we'll see. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm encountering the odd uh, crash now and again. Oh, wow. Listen to that storm, guys. Okay. And I think, I think it has something to do with Fury spells, though. So maybe those perks that I purchased are actually conflicting with something. Um, so let me try. It happened when I did a Fury on the wolf. Oh, no, it's fine now. Okay. That's fine. So we can use this guy to practice our Fury spells. There we go. Let's knock him down. But yeah, Fury spells will now last forever. Which is really, really handy. So hopefully this is... Uh, hopefully this will be fine. I don't know if it's going to be the bandits around here that caused it to crash. So let's just run in and see if we crash. Let's have a looky. Right, so over here we go. We're now at Crack Tusk Keep. Right, let's see if there's anyone in here that we can... Alright, this guy. There you go, we should be able to get him. There we go. So hopefully he'll start going after... If he can't get to me, he'll go after the. Uh, he'll go after everyone else in the, uh, in the keep. So now our Fury spell should last forever. So he should target others. Yeah, look, he's now targeting others. Look at that, so now he's going to target others instead, and they should go after him, and they should attack each other. Alright. Let's break our way in here. Right. Let's go sneak in a bit. Right, where is this one? Right, there we go, we can fury him. There we go, if we fury them all, hopefully they'll attack each other. There we go. So we'll try and stay out of the fight ourselves, now they can go, they can all go kill each other. Now we're not going to see them being killed, of course. Right. There we go. Illusion increased. There we go. Because I do want to raise my illusion skill. And it's always fun making them fight each other. Right, is that everyone here? I think so. Yeah, I think that's everyone. Alright, so that's everyone done there. Let's go inside the actual crack tusk keep here. And let's see what we can do. Right, here we go. We're inside. Hooray! Right. Oh! Ouch. There we go. Furied him. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to try and fury them as well. Um, so by furying them, we're going to get our illusion up as well. So that's, that's always handy. There you go. Right, let's go ahead and then see what we can do in this to this guy over here. All right. So let's try conjuration as well. We're going to we're going to conjure a minion in there. So he's just in here. So what we should be able to do. So he is just in. I think there's one more guy just in here. Right. So we're gonna conjure a minion there, and then we're gonna let him let the conjured minion deal with him. Oh wow! He sent him flying. Did you see that? Did you see that, guys? He went absolutely flying. Here we go. Oh. Okay, he's been knocked down again. Is he gonna be? Is he gonna get killed? I don't know. Yeah, he's 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 at it. Got him. Nice. This wind actually, seriously. Let's go and get rid of him. We don't need him now. Look at that. That was brilliant. Okay, you should have the um, you should have the Kratos Keep Vault Key. There we go. And then we should be able to go ahead and take that. And uh, this should lead us down to the bottom. Let's go and see what we got in here. 
a a uh, a Vanderfell glass helmet. I love the look of that helmet. That looks really cool. If I was a um, if I was a warrior class, I would definitely be getting that glass armor because that looks really cool. I really like the look of that. Honestly, it's it's awesome. Okay, so we got uh, life of Uriel Septim. Don't really don't really want that. So I think that's everything. I think that's all the bandits in this place taken care of. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over this way, and I think we need to now uh, make our way down here. I don't know if there's any more bandits down here. I don't think there is, but I don't want to be. I don't want to say there's definitely not, just in case there is, and you know, always expect the unexpected. Uh, so that goes back to Skyrim. So we're gonna unlock that, and we're gonna activate that thing, and then this will lead us down into uh, the vaults. Here we go, cracked us bolts. Let's go ahead and get this last bit of the dagger. So, what do we have in here? We have a potion, I will take that, and a less soul gem, and a petty soul gem. Okay, I'll take all three. Why not? Okay. So, we've got a few things here. So, there is a button here which leads into this room. There is, what do we have here? We have a potion, I'll take that. And we have a few soul gems here as well, I'll take all those. I think that was a greater soul gem or a grand soul gem even. A coin purse, let's go and take that. What do we get? Oh, we got a flawless amethyst, very nice. And in here, we got nothing. Okay, let me uh, let me get candlelight equipped. I think that's the only spell we're going to need at the moment, so that should be okay. Right, this door. Is there a button on this one? There you are. Let's open that one. What do we have in here? We have armor, more armor. Um, that's about it. Just armor and a couple of bolts and things. Nothing, nothing great. All right, so now we got to go in this way. Right, so this is the last bit. Now I think there's a lot of traps in here. Um, so it's not as easy as it would seem. Common soul gem, though. I'll take that. There you go, sounds good. So, one, two. Right, here we go. Aha, see? Traps. So, activate that. Get that thing out of the way. Um, right, let's make sure we're getting all these traps here. So, this one. Activate that thing. Okay, let's kind of go around this. Ah, ooh, 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 there's, a, there's one there. Uh, what's going to come around here? Ah, I see, there's a, a swingy thing right there. So, do that. Back up. There we go. Okay, that one's been that one's been removed. Very nice. So there's three done. There's another one just here. Yeah, there's another thing there. That... Take that one. Okay, and there's one more. There's one more over here as well. Where is the trigger for that one? Because we're at the uh, we're at the razor thingy here, but I don't know where that last I don't know where that last trigger is. Because that one definitely, so that one's going to swing forwards and then around here. So the trigger is probably, ah, this is probably the trigger, this chest itself. Um, and that's, oh no, that, that trap probably won't be able to get around that, will it? Because it's through there. So I think this should be okay. So let's unlock this chest if we can. Oh, no, it's got to go back a bit. Probably like there. Nope, bit more, bit more. Ah, oh, so close. Last bit, come on. There you go, got it. Back up just in case. Potion of healing, scroll of conjure storm action. Okay, I can say that. Uh, septums and a jade and emerald circlet. Very nice. I'll take that too. All right, I think that's everything. So we're gonna go and. Uh, oh, I see. Right, that last bit is gonna trigger that, isn't it? Probably. Take that. Back up. Back up. Back up. There we go. And there we go. We've got all three pieces. Nice. That is all three pieces of the razor. Let's go ahead and go. Boom. And there we go. Right. Is there any more chests or anything around here? I just want to double check just in case. Uh, that's the only chest in the area. All right, there we go. So that is everything. So we should be good to go ahead and head out and deliver this stuff back to the guy in Dawnstar. We should be all good. So let's head up here. Um, oh, hang on. I will take the uh, dried frost mitrum and we'll take those. And we got more dried frost mitrum and we've got elves here. I'll take all those. A few alchemy ingredients. May as well take them all. Is there any more around here I can take? No. Um, okay. That's all good. Let's go ahead and head up this way then, and then out here. And let's go into Skyrim again. And then we can pretty much just fast travel back up to the top. So let's go and do it. So, back up to Dawnstar we go, and then we can hand this in. So let's do that. So we need to go to here. Here we go. So we can essentially bring all three pieces back. So we got all three now. I didn't want to do one, then the next one, then the next one. I thought, let's just do all three. It's a bit easier. Okay. So, here we are. Dawn Star once again. Who's this guy? Shady Sam, eh? Need something. Um, hmm, what have you got for sale? Let's have a look. 
Uh, what is he selling here? Let me guess, Skooma probably. Aversion to fire. I bet he's got Skooma on him. I bet he, yeah, there you go. Told you he's got some Skooma. Uh, miscellaneous, he's got lockpicks. You know what, I'll buy the lockpicks, why not? Can never have too many lockpicks. I guess this guy will, will buy anything. How much does he actually have on him? He actually has quite a lot of gold, actually, so maybe we can sell him some of our potions. Um, so, Blacksmith's Filter, Blacksmith's Potion. You have those, those, those. Yeah, you can have all this. Illusion, lot of picking. Yeah, all these true shots and stuff that I don't need. And all the poisons. You know, we, we don't need all those. Gouge magic regen. Sell those. There you go. Because this will reduce all our weight as well. Which is all, always very handy. There you go. And hopefully we can make back some of our gold. Uh, Gouge magic regen. There you go. So you can all, all those. Potion of frenzy. Yeah, why not? There you go. Take them. Um, what have we got? Lingering damage health. Yep, take that. Nine of those. Get rid of those. Uh, more lingering damage magicka. Uh, another one. Ravage magicka. Four. Uh, weakness to fire. Yeah, we can just sell these potions off because we, we don't need them. A po I, lo I love that. A, a poison of weakness to poison. Yeah, you can have that. Uh, fortify conjuration. That'll give me two, five, three for all that. Fortify health. Yeah, let's just make sure we don't send too much here. Fortify lot picking, that gets hardly anything. 88, yep, you now have 200 exactly. And then you've got healing, I'll keep those, we want those. Magicka. I guess minor healing we can just get rid of now, we don't, we really don't need those guys. Um, same with minor magicka. And minor stamina. Yeah, 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 just had the last one, why not? There you go, I'll clean him out. There you go. Mm hmm, hmm, seems, uh, Seems pleasant. He's like, I don't want anything to do with you. Just go away. Right, let's go ahead and make our way down here then. Let's take uh, all the uh, snow breezes we find them, and the mount flowers as well, of course. We'll take. Uh, definitely want to be taking all those. There you go. Right. So let's head back to the museum, and we're going to hand in all these three pieces of the uh, razor to him. Here we go. Alrighty. Hello. What is it? Do I have, you have one of the razor fragments? I have all the pieces of the razor. All at once? You're efficient. I like that. Here's your reward. Yay! Nice. Finally, all the pieces of Merun's razor are in my hands. It's time I let you in on something. There's a fourth piece, that scabbard in the display case, built to house the razor. And there's more. I know how to put all the pieces together. We just need to take them to Dagon's shrine and contact the Lord of Change directly. Hmm, you think Dagon will repair the razor? This sounds like a terrible idea. You don't want to be a part of history? Fine. I'll be at the shrine if you change your mind. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go to the shrine anyway. I I kind of feel bad for the guy. I, think, I, I don't think dealing with Daedric Lords is going to be... Uh... I don't think dealing with Daedric Lords is going to be in his best interest, you know. I think I think he may run into problems. So where is this shrine anyway? I think it's um I think it's over here near um I think it's near Felkreath or something. Yeah, there it is. It's up there. Shrine of Maroon's Dagon. Uh, how do we get to there from down here? Okay, if we go to where's the closest place? Okay, we're gonna have to go through probably go to Labyrinthian and come up from there. Looks like. Yeah, up from Labyrinthian, it seems. Um, so let's go and do that. Let's head to Labyrinthian. I don't know if there's going to be any trolls or anything here. But yeah, we want to go out this way. So here is Labyrinthian. And we need to go... That's south. Okay, it's probably put us to the north side of Labyrinthian, hasn't it? Yeah, it's put us to the north. Um, so I think we need to go pretty much through Labyrinthian. And then out the other end, we need to then turn up the mountain that way. Right. Now, I don't know if the uh, trolls are back here, because there used to be some here. Yep, we've got uh, we got trouble. Okay, here we go. Right. Let's enrage the troll. There we go. Don't know if there's any more. Yep. There's a couple. Okay. So let's try and get them... Let's try and get them to fight each other if we can. So we're going to jump up here. There we go. I don't know if you can get me from here. Can he come up here or not? No, he can't. Okay. Oh, yes, he can. Yes, he can. Oh, jump down here. Right. I want to see if we can get to fight each other. There you go. Be enraged. Right, that's it. Now you go fight each other. That's it. That's it. Go fight each other. Finish each other off. Ah, oh, look at that. Perfect. 
And we'll deal with those guys together. There you go. So troll fat, I'll take that. And then this one down here. So the trolls did make a return. More troll fat, I'll take that too. Very cool. Right. So yeah, that was the that was the north side labyrinth. We need to go out the south side, I believe. Um, so we're gonna continue making our way through here. We should be able to make our way. That's easy. Yeah, we need we need to go out the south end. Let's head up here. I don't know if there's any more trolls. There probably are. So let's kind of keep making our way through. Right, it's probably one up there. There he is. There we go. Got him. Nice. Man, our distraction cells are getting very powerful. That's pretty awesome. Right. More troll fat? There we go. Four of those. Any more? Nope. Okay. It's fun sometimes just making them fight each other and just sitting back to watch, though. That's always nice. Right, okay. So let's have a look now. So it's at this point we now need to kind of turn. Yes, yeah, so we now need to pretty much turn to the left if we can. So the, the, the shrine is just up there. So we need to turn... Let's kind of go this way. And we're going to get back into... Pretty, pretty much back into White Run Hole. But then I think we can probably meander up this hill here. Well, depending on, you know, hash Haskarim hill physics. Depending on that. We'll see. Okay, um, can we... There's a, uh, a dragon shrine up here as well. So here we go. We're going to come up here. Alright, looks like we can go up this way. Can we get the rabbit? Boom! Got him. Eat that rabbit. Good target practice. Alright, here we go. Right, I think this is the way we need to go, but it might be leading up to the dragon shrine. It's going to be leading up to either the shrine or to a dragon uh, a dragon temple. I have no idea. So you might end up fighting a dragon, or a dragon priest, which could be bad. Um, so I'm going to quick save here, just so we've got that, you know, ready. Okay, I'm starting to think this is, might not be the way we want to go. Yeah, this looks like it's going to the dragon shrine. Which is fine. We can go and see if we've got to fight a priest or a dragon. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa, that guy is... Uh, that guy is right. Oh, wow, it's a, it's a frost dragon. A glacial dragon. Not a frost dragon, it's a glacial one. I thought that guy seemed a bit bright. Okay, let's try and pelt him with the water. Okay, there we go. Oh, yes, we've uh, got him down. Right, let's get fire out. Right, where you landed. Okay. Oh, crash landing. Did we get him? I think we did. We got him. Nice. Wow, this dragon looks really cool. Look at this guy. I want to get a close look at him. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at that guy. A glacial dragon. Look at that. We killed him pretty easily, so we can absorb his soul. Huzzah! There we go. Nice. So, one new dragon soul absorbed. Nice. So, what have you got on you? Dragon burn, septums. Where's my carry weight at, anyway? Yeah, I can carry those. There we go. And we also have a word uh, a word here, so let's go ahead and uh, do that one. What have you got? We get learned frost breath. Nice. There we go. So, glacial dragon, and we got frost breath as well. I wonder if there's any um, bonus chests here. Here we go. There's one. What have you got for me? Uh, sea dog... Uh, Sea Dog Tricorn. Oh, that's a really cool hat. Look at that. I like that. I take the Dwarven Arrows, a Stroll Guardian Circle, Poison, Staff of Summoning Runes. Cast on the nearby surface, teleports an opponent in front of you when triggered. Oh, that's cool. Ring of Courage. I'll take that. We can sell that. That's actually not bad loot. That's pretty good. Okay, so where is the shrine from here? The shrine is pretty much just around, just around here. So I don't know if we can really get to it from here. I think we're probably going to have to take an alternate route. But I think what we can do is maybe go ahead and kind of traverse this mountain here. There's some corundum there, which I'm not really too worried about. But I think we can probably get to it by kind of going around here and, and then up. So it looks like we've got... Yeah, here we go. So we can just get to the shrine from here. All right, so we didn't have to go from the north side, but that's okay. All right. So let's head up here. Oh, what's coming after me? Oh, I3. If I can get it. Oh, no, 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 no. Got him. I hate ice raids. They're horrible things. Wow. Nasty, nasty little things, those things are. Damn you, ice wraith. Right, so where do we got to go now? So we are going... Okay, so we got to go up this way. Okay. So up here. 
Good. You're here. Right. I'll place the pieces on the altar, and Dagon should speak to us. Alrighty. Go on then. If you're if you're really sure about this, I don't think this is a good idea, dude. If you're sure. Merun's Dagon, the Lord of Change. We have brought your razor to you. We thank you. Please bring the blade's full glory to Tamriel again. It's not working. Why don't you give it a try? All Just right. Put your hands on the altar. Okay. Are you sure? I think this is gonna be bad. All right. Fine. You, mortal. Hello. Hello. You are worthy of speaking to. You have claimed the pieces of my razor. It has been an amusing game to witness. But Dagon does not declare a winner while there is a pawn on the board. Kill Silas. He and his family have served their purpose. Well, he did help me find the pieces. He, did, uh, he does deserve to live. Only Dagon can declare if a pawn is worth keeping. I have spoken. Kill him. Take your rightful place as my champion, or I will crush you. Alrighty. Wait, wait. Don't kill me. There's another way. I can take the pieces back to my museum, seal them in a display case. You get a generous amount of gold, I get to complete my collection, and nobody has to die. Fine. Get out of here. Thank you. Here's your gold. I'll make a run for it back to Dawnstar. You think to betray Meirun's Dagon? Suffer! Alright, we got some, uh... Got these guys to deal with, right. Uh, where are you going? Right. Oi! Right, there's one down. Nice. Okay, let me, uh, see what you got. Scorching Blast, eh? What does this do? Uh, lights the ground underneath the target, dealing six damage for ten seconds. Nice. A danger hut and a key, a key to the shrine. All right, where's the uh, where's the other guy going? Hey, I'll save you. Don't worry. Stop running. Okay, we got him. Right, run for it, dude. Run for it. Right. What have you got anyway? An iron sword of burning, eh? Ten points of fire damage. Burning targets keep taking damage. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. Uh, danger heart. I'll take that as well. And another key to maroon shrine. All right. So we didn't get the razor, but we managed to save that guy. See, I told him it was a bad idea. I told him it was a bad idea, but he just had to go that extra step, didn't he? Well, let's go and see what's inside the actual shrine itself. Because there's probably some good stuff in here. So let's go and have a looky, shall we? Alrighty. So inside the shrine itself, we still got candlelight active, and it should activate again when we go into battle. Get down. Right, oh, we got a wizard as well. Okay, don't let him, don't let him fire. Don't let him fire. Go on, a Tremora wizard. Come on, eat that. Got him. Got the wizard out of the way as well. Is that it, or are there more in here? Okay, Tremora Chell, you have a Daedra Heart. I'll take that. And this guy has another Daedra Heart. I'll take that too. Right, are there more in here? Is that it? Just that and the wizard. Okay, there are only two. Okay, I wasn't so bad. Uh, okay, well, there's there's a lot of nice things in here. Look at that. There's a um, catalogue of armor enchantments. That'll be good for us. Enchanting raised to 66. Hey, nice. I'll take that. Uh, strong box, what do you have? Uh, full of scarlet. Wow, nice. Okay, so co uh, common soul gems, glow dust. Take that as well. There's lots of gold in here. Look at this place. This has uh, got some nice loot in it. Uh, what have we got here? Takes, plates and pots. I'll take the frost salts and the bone meal. There we go. So a lot of this stuff we can just take for us. Uh, potion of Enduring Invisibility. Nice. I'll take that. Tide Bandana. Don't really want that. Uh, what have we got here? Fly Animator and a Red Mountain Flower Sword. We'll search everything in here because, you know, it's a, it's a nice little treasure trove for us. There we go. What have we got in here? We have Bleeding Crown and Garnet. I'll take those two. Uh, oh, here we go. Look at this. We've got... Wow, look how much gold ingots are in here. Look at that. That's nice. I'm not worried about Ebony, to be fair. I could probably sell this to a smith or something, but, yeah, not worried about it. Um, what is this? Just a skull. We have salt piles. A jug I'm not too worried about. Moonstone. Some more gold over there, which I will happily take. And we also have glow dust, ectoplasm, uh, a firebolt spell tome, which we already know, but that's okay. 
What have we got in here? A uh, Flawless Garnet and a Silver Amethyst Ring. Very nice. Okay, nothing else over here. And then we got this big chest over here in the back. And what do we have in here? A Glass Battle Axe. That looks pretty nice. Um, a Vanguard Plate Helmet Closed. Hmm. That looks kind of, kind of freaky. Uh, Plate Brutes of Brawn. Okay, I know that one already. Uh, Iron Mallet. Potion of Minus Sauna. Septums. A Circle of Eminent Conjuration. Uh, costs 20% less. Okay, that's pretty good. I could probably use that in, in, instead of my uh, destruction ones, because that's a that's a pretty good one. As long as we're wearing a circlet, fury spells cost nothing to, or well, fury spells cost a lot less. Let's let's just say to, to do. So there we go. Managed to go ahead and uh, save that guy's life. So yeah, I'd rather have the gold. To be fair, I mean, we told we told the guy he was silly, and he didn't listen to us. So you know, he was uh, he was messing with stuff that ought not to be messed with. But there we go. So we're not going to get uh, we're not going to get the dagger, but let's go back to Dawnstar and just check on how he is. Hopefully he's doing okay, and let's go and check his museum. So hopefully he's going to be all good. Silly bugger. I mean, you know, we, we we do warn him. You know, it's like you're messing with the Daedra. Are you sure? I've uh, we've already seen what Vermina can do with her crystals. So you know, I've just like, are you sure you want to be messing with the Daedra? And they're just like, yes, yes. They'll promise me, they'll promise me all kinds of power. And it's just like. You, you just think, you do realise they're not going to give you any of this power they promise you. Or they are, but then they're going to take it away from you. Alright. So let's go and see this guy now. Hopefully he's alright. Alright, what have you got? So let's go into Silas's house. Alright. So, dude. Good to see you in my museum again. I owe you my life. You do indeed. So can we... So there's all the pieces of the razor there. There we go. So all the pieces of the razor are here. Um, we can go in the display case and unlock them if we want to. Uh, let's like say if we wanted Mythic Dawn stuff, but I don't really want any of that. So he's safe. He's happy. Hopefully nothing's going to go after him. Seems all good. All right. Well, he seems safe. Thank goodness for that. So while we're in Dawnstar... Let's go and see what we can do here. Let's go and take these uh, strawberry, snowberry things, wherever they are. Um, I don't know if they're strawberries or snowberries. I think they're snowberries. Um, I think. I'm really not sure. So let's go ahead and make our way up here. And let's see. Ooh. For sake, Skull. Who do you think we're threatening with our old war wounds? We're not soldiers anymore. Your man, Horik, is wearing his old legion armor. What should I make of that? He's proud of his service, Scald. The Legion taught us loyalty, and we're loyal to Dawnstar. This isn't over. I catch you sending one letter to General Tullius. I'll have you both executed. Oh, wow. He doesn't seem too happy, does he? Hmm. Not very, uh, not a very nice Yarl. So I guess he's on the, uh, on the Stormcloak side. Anyway. No, I don't want to go in the Dawnstar barracks. Okay. Oh, I actually just closed the door. Nice. Um, I didn't want to go in the barracks. I wanted to go to the inn. Here we go. So into Wind Peak Inn. Here we go. It's a curse. Welcome. It has to Let be. me know if you want. I've got to get out of this town. I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Irgner, get a hold of yourself. They're just dreams. Please tell her, Erander. Listen to your friend, Fruit. They are just dreams, my dear. I assure you that it is quite normal. It's the same dream over and over again. You think that's normal? It's evil, I tell you. Erandur, she has a point. You keep telling us no harm will follow these dreams, but they must be an omen. Give him a chance to speak. He's trying to help us. Everyone, please. I'm doing what I can to end these nightmares. In the meantime, all I ask is you remain strong and put your trust in Lady Mara. I, I will. Thank you. Alrighty. Well, we have a fellow agent of Mara. Hello. What troubles you, my son? Hmm. Well, what's wrong with everyone around the, around the, the town? The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger, but I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. Hmm. So... What could you do about this? I guess dreams aren't real, right? I swear These dreams are manifestations. Created by the Daedric Lord, Vermina. She has an awful hunger for our memories. In return, she leaves behind nightmares. 
Not unlike a cough marks a serious illness. I was wondering. I must end her terrible influence over these people before the damage becomes permanent. So, what's your plan? I need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcall the Temple. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. Hmm. Well, what do you mean, return? You've been there? I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me and help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. Well, alrighty. I trust you. Yeah, so how can I help? Come on then. Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. All right, let's go. I promise to answer all of your questions. Follow me. <laughs> all right, let's get out of it then. All right, come on, Arinda. Huh? Please, someone do something. Right. Good. Nope. Let's go here. Stop us. Guess it's all clear. Okay. Is that it? Just a wolf? Is that it? I think that's all. Alright then. So let's head out to Nightcaller Temple. I don't think it's that far away. Come on, Arinda. So if we, if we just walk, it will uh, it will make him come after us. There we go. So where is he going? Out this way, I think. That's where we're going. Yeah, he's coming up after us here. So we've got to go to Nightcaller Temple, which I believe is just up this hill here. So let's go ahead and make our way up here. He should be following us. Yeah, here we go. So he is following. So we want to go up here. So I don't know if we're going to see any nasties up here. But Nightcaller Temple is just up here. So let's go and have a look. It's very dark up here, so hopefully nothing bad's going to happen. But you never know. There we go. So the temple's just up here. So Arinda should be... I trust, yeah, he's like lagging behind. Go on, Erinda. You said you wanted to help the people, but you're kind of awfully slow about doing it. Right. So, what do we got up here? Right, oh, something's after me. What's coming? Ice race? Oh, three ice race, okay. Okay, there's one. There's two. This thing is so hard to hit. Right. Where's he going? Oi! Where are you going? Got him. Nice. Three ice rates. Nice. We'll take the essence and the teeth from each one. Whew! That was lucky. Okay. So there's the second one. Let's go ahead and take those. And then there's one more here. Nice. Alright, here we go. Nightcaller Temple. Just up the hill here. Alrighty. Right, Aaron, where you at? Oh, is there still someone else after him? Yeah, it's a wolf after him. Got him. Silly beggar. Right, there's another one. Did you kill him? Got him. And the ice wolf is out as well. Nice, there we go. Right, I think that's it, Aaron. Ice wraiths and uh, some wolves all taken care of. Right, let's get to the uh, let's get to the temple. Let's take the snow breeze on the way as well. Right, come on then. Right, here we go. Right, are we going in? Or what are we doing? Let's have a look here. Are we getting any more attacking us? No. Okay, we're good. All right, let's speak to him here then. Before we enter. I must warn you about the dangers that could be lurking within. Years ago, this temple was raided by an orc war party seeking revenge. They were being plagued by nightmares, just like the people of Dawnstar. Right, so were they successful? No. Knowing they could never defeat the orcs, the priests of Vermina released what they called the Miasma, putting everyone to sleep. Right, so why is it dangerous if they're asleep? I'm concerned that when this place is unsealed, the miasma will dissipate and they'll awaken, both orcs and priests alike. Ah. All right, well, in that case, let's go. Once we get inside, all will become clear. Alrighty. 
I'm trusting you. Kinda. Maybe. In you go then. Right. Let's get inside. So hopefully, he's not going to turn us. He seems very fishy. Alrighty then. So where are we going then? Go on, Erinda. What are we doing? Yes, my son. What is it I can help with? Well, first of all, I'm not your son. I'm kind of worried that you call me that. Uh, secondly, right, okay, here we go. So that is the Talos mistake. Okay, so there's a book there, so where are we going then? Give me just a moment. I'll have this open. Alrighty. Alrighty, here we go. Right, let's go. Right, I'm getting my spells out just in case. Now I can show you the source of the nightmares. Over here. Alrighty, what are we looking at? Ooh. What is that? Behold the skull of corruption, the source of Dawnstar's woes. We must hmm. reach the inner sanctum and destroy it. Come, there's no time to lose. Alrighty. I'm ready when you are. Alright, we're sneaking. We're sneaking. Right. So, oh, it looks like. Oh. Got him. There you go. So we're going to fury them just to keep our illusion up. Um, wow. That was pretty crazy. What have you got anyway? A lot of pigs to those. What is this? Uh, so. Damn it. The priest must have activated this barrier when the miasma was released. So, looks difficult to breach. Impossible, actually. I wonder. There may be a way to bypass the barrier, but I must check their library and confirm it can be done. You seem to know an awful lot about this place. I suppose there's no point in concealing the truth any longer. My knowledge of this temple comes from personal experience. I was a priest of Vermina. Well, why keep it a secret? When the orcs invaded the temple, I fled. I left my brothers and sisters here to die. I've spent the last few decades living in regret and seeking redemption for Mara. And by her benevolence, I will right my wrongs. Alright, well, I guess I can understand. Let's go. I still have my key to the library. Whenever you're ready, let's move on. Alrighty, let's do it. We mustn't tear it. The skull needs to be destroyed as soon as possible. Right. Go on, Anaranda. Where's this library then? Where are we going? Let me guess. Probably up here? Over here? Is this where we're going? Right. Come on, Aranda. I'm up here. He says, We mustn't tear it. It's and he's like going really slow. Come on then. See, I know where this thing is before you do. Right, come on. Open up. Be careful. We're certain to find more of the awakened within. All right. Open the library. There you go. Right. Let's see what we can find in here. What was right. There you go. We'll fury them. There you go. Go on, Aranda, get him! Got him. Nice. Okay, it looks like destruction is going to be... Uh, it's like destruction is going to be our, our magic of choice at the moment, because I don't think Fury is going to work, because they're already kind of attacking each other anyway. Right, are there any more around here? Let's have a look. Okay, let's take a little tour across the top here. Hmm. Right, so he's still going around here. This library used to be filled with arcane volumes. Now look at it. Almost everything's been burned. 
Right, oh, there's one down there. We need is still intact. Okay, oh, I can't shoot through there. Okay. So we're gonna have to go through here and probably fight them as they as we go in here. That's one. There's two. Right, where's the last one? There's one more in here. Oh, there, I see you. Right, she's around the corner. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Whoa! Okay, oi! Stop it! Oh, set up flying! Nice! Okay, that was awesome. Alright. Barring any more interruptions, perhaps we can locate the information I need. Alrighty, so what am I looking for? We're looking for a book of alchemical recipes called the Dream Stride. The tome bears the likeness of Vermina on the cover. It should be here somewhere. Alright, let's go and look for it then. If you'll check the shelves around the balcony, I'll check around the lower level. Alright, sounds good, Arinda. Let's go up here then. Right, let's see if we can find this book then, shall we? So, not there. Uh... Hang on, let me kind of duck down and get my candlelight out. No. This one? Nope. Those are burn books. The Firmament? No, it's not that one. Let's have a look around here. So there's loads of, uh, loads of burn books, but nothing really too much around this top section. Okay, ooh, can we... How do we get around this other bit then? Ah, we got to come down here. This one? No, that's varieties of Daedra. Ah, hold on. Ooh. I wanted to do this guy. Just up here, right? Oh, did I just drop down there? I just dropped down there again, didn't I? God damn it. Okay, right. Let's run up here again. Right. Oh, there you go. Jump over that. Jump over that. And then jump onto that one. There it is. Alright, this one. The Dream Stride. Got it. The mysterious alchemist of Vermina. So, what have we got here? For over a thousand years, the priests of Vermina have been masters of the art of alchemy. The complexity and potency of their mixtures are nothing short of legendary. Three alchemical treasures are so, or these alchemical treasures are so highly sought after that a single draft showing up on the black market can command sums in the tens of thousands of septums. On the numerous potions that have surfaced to date, Vermina's torpor is perhaps the most impressive. A single sip of this viscous liquid places the imbuer in a state known as the Dream Stride. This condition allows the subject to experience the dreams of another as if they were actually there. The subject becomes an integral part of the dream, behaving as they belong. To any other entities in this dream state, the subject will be mistaken for the dreamer. The subject will even find his mannerisms, speech patterns, and knowledge expanded appropriately. To the observer, after the subject has, Im has imbribed the potion, they will appear to vanish. As the subject traverses distances within the dream, they will also be traversing distances in the actual world. When the Torpus effect has expired, the subject will fade back into reality in the exact location projected within the Dream Stride. Some Dream Strides have transported their subjects a few feet, and some have appeared thousands of miles from their origin in a matter of minutes. It's to be noted that the Dream Stride is highly, uh, highly dangerous and presents the subject with numerous pitfalls. In certain dreams, subjects have been exposed to life-threatening scenarios such as sicknesses, violence, and even death. In most cases, the subject simply uh, fades back to our world without harm, but in some instances, the subject never reappeared and was assumed to have expired, or the subject reappeared deceased. It's also quite possible that the subject could reappear in a precarious or hazardous location in reality, even though that location appeared safe within the dream stride. Vermina's torpor is as mysterious and elusive to the priests that created it. It's unknown whether this unique transport mechanism is a result of the torpor itself, or simply the uh, odd machinations of Vermina. But the potential for using the Dream Stride for pen uh, to penetrate seemingly impassable obstacles certainly outweighs its mysterious nature. Alrighty. Well, guys, we managed to find the uh, mysterious book, so I think we're at a good point to go ahead and end off the episode. So what we're going to do, we're going to end it off here, and in the next episode, we're going to see if we can uncover some more about Vermina's Torpor. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and in the next one, I'll see you. So until then, bye!